welcome back. I've got a journal to share with you guys today. Um, this is um, a journal created using a uh, cloth, uh, 12 by 9 um, envelope. And so it's just about six and a quarter by nine finished. Uh, gosh, a lot to tell you on this one. I did the faux leather technique on the envelope. I've reinforced it and then obviously I've just um, done a, a big collage of various fabrics and papers. This is an Edith Holden image. Um, some of the little trim. A vintage button. Um, this Tell Me Quiet Things. Yeah, just playing around. I really enjoyed it. I um, recently got this book, Stitch Memories, Telling Story Through Cloth and Thread. And this has just been such an inspirational book. If you don't have this and have an interest in uh, mixed media, I highly recommend it. It's It's been really enjoyable reading. So, you know, when I do have time to play around, I um, this is what I'm dabbling in now, so I'm really enjoying it. Um, trying to get better with my uh, sewing, trying some of the stitches on my machine that um, I felt were kind of advanced, but um, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. So I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Um, I think if you've been following me, some time back I said I'm really trying to break out of um, my journals being so perfect and not and don't misunderstand not that I think my journals are perfect but you know what I mean I just I want to um, be more creative is what I'm trying to say um, and this has just been so much fun doing this so I won't uh, waste any more time. We'll jump inside. Uh, I think I this has got 56 pages. Everything has been coffee dyed. Um, as you can see, it's darker colors. It lends itself to a nature journal. Um, so I've tried to choose um, some of my darker papers to use within this. And on the front, I've done quite a bit of stitching throughout, and you will see that. And then. Um, in this pocket, I've taken um, an image from a book I recently picked up at a car boot. Gorgeous illustrations in this book. I uh, probably should have scanned them, but I wasn't thinking ahead enough to do that. <laughs> you know how I am. Um, this Tim Holtz, obviously, and it's backed with some coffee paper. So that's a little journaling tag. This is just a little envelope that I've um, run through the embossing. Um, and then I came back and distressed, you know, the raised images. And then I just created a little um, note, note sheet there that's inside of the envelope. And then just an, there's an alteration tag. Um, that's been distressed, and then I just stamped a little image. So like I said, this is um, more of a nature type journal. There's some, um, this is really old um, paper, notebook paper, and then um, some of the old, <coughs> excuse me, sheet music. This page, I've just done some collaging with different types of um, book pages because I love the colors on this but it's quite thin paper so I've had to um, I think I've ended up with about three pieces on that so that it was nice and sturdy and then I stitched it um, this is uh, from Tracy's kit Tracy Fox so if you're interested I've used quite a few of her uh, things in here and this is from that book so I've just made a little tag there. I like how that's come out. Really happy with that. Um, here I've just done some stitching with the machine. Just trying to, to play around with some of these stitches that it's got on it. All vintage papers in here. 
uh, did a little altered paper clip. And here I just, there's nothing in this coin envelope, but obviously you've got room to add something. And then here I just did a little tuck spot and then um, added the little mini file folder. Here I've done a, um, this is some fabric um, trim, and then these are uh, vintage um, sheet music uh, pockets. Some little flip tags here for writing on. This page, now this um, I created, you won't be able to open this, it's just purely, you know, to look at, but I, I thought that really went along nicely because I did some of the Tim Holtz wildflower, I think that's the wildflower dye framelits, and then they're in there, so it's got a nice, you know, bit of texture to that, and that's just been sewn to a, another vintage book sheet. Here I've got another one of Tracy's gorgeous seed packets, love those, and then I've used some of her little, um, cutouts for the corner. And here I've made, um, this is, um, it's a baking paper that you can get over here, but I've never had this until um, recently. It's, it's got a texture to it, and <laughs> I'm so crazy. My husband's like, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I love the feel of this. I said, I must make some pockets with that. He, he thinks I'm a lunatic, but so I brought that up and did that. I love how that's come out. And then this is from Tracy's um, little kit that went really nice with this. I love how this patterns come out on the coffee dye and on these. Um, center of the signature, I've just cut out some little butterflies. And then here's just another little place you could do some journaling. Another one of um, <clears throat> the little envelopes from Tracy. Love these. They're so sweet. Look at the detail with the little ant on it. Precious. Um, here is another uh, altered paper clip. So just tuck that back in. Um, and then I took and with our junk mailers, I've just covered up the writings and then added some cutouts from uh, this is the 49th and market paper um, and then I just created this little journal tag to go inside but you've also got I've got this, the fancy stitching along there but you've also got a pocket back here and on the back that you can add more things so that's been clipped in some uh, grid paper backs of those. This is another big pocket for you to use with some more of the fabric uh, trim. Lots of writing space. And here I've done a journal card. I took a book page. Um, this one was a flower one and I love the images on that. So I backed that. And then this is another uh, book page pocket, and then a little, just a little note sheet. I thought it coordinated nicely. And here I've just done a flip up so you could do some writing here. And then obviously you've got more writing there. And uh, in this pocket, uh, I recently purchased, it's um, cotton paper. It's uh, 320 GSM. Now, I don't know what that comes out into pounds, but I can tell you that's really sturdy, but it's all handmade. And I got uh, some of this at a shop. I'll show you. Uh, I went to uh, one of the little local shops here, and I, I purchased a big stack of them, and I think this is going to be really fun. I'm, I can't wait to try stamping on it. But it's, it's a cotton paper, um, all handmade, and I just think they're really, really gorgeous. I've got some envelopes and some papers that I will be incorporating into some future journals. Um, I just love that. And this was a um, 
cigarette card that I've just um, copied over and then cut out the image of that and then another hand stamped tag and another little file mini file folder in there so there she is it's a good sized journal lots of uh, place to write so if you're interested I'll, I'll have the link below um, I've added a lot of new things to my shop recently um, and I guess I could just very quickly go through a few of them so you can get uh, a, a sneak peek if you just give me two seconds I'll bring a couple of the journals but this one's going to be in there um, when this video is up it will be in my shop if you're interested so just two seconds and I'll grab a couple other So yesterday I added quite a few uh, really, uh, well I've got the plain journals and then I've also got some of the um, just journal covers. Um, these are, there's only one that's not a Tim Holtz fabric, but you will recognize that obviously. But I just thought I'd very quickly let you see. Um, these have all been reinforced with a stabilizer. Then there's uh, cotton wadding inside, and then the material, and then I finished them off inside. The only thing you'll need to do is sew in your signature, and then you'll need to, you know, come up with a, a closure. Um, so I've got several of those in the shop, and then these are just plain journals um, that I've done, and and I don't know if this was Tim Holtz fabric. I would say it probably was. Somebody asked me where I purchased this. It was at Joann's. I don't know if they still got it or not. Uh, the, I, I just don't know. So what these journals have got are a pocket in the front and in the back. Now they're going to vary. Um, each one's a little slightly different. But they've all got um, vintage book pages, some have got some pockets inside, some have just purely got the book pages. But all of the papers are um, coffee dyed, unless it's the backing of a scrapbook paper. There may be some white. Now this one's been covered. They've got, um, I've got, you know, just various things. None of them are, are the same, but they've all got like a doily. Um, some of this Tim Holtz wallpaper, um, like I said, an assortment of book pages. I think all of them will have Edith Holden papers of some sort, because um, I've got lots of her books. Um, and then little flips. So it's just a really nice journal for somebody that just wants something that's already done. Maybe you're new to junk journaling, and this just seems a bit too overwhelming to start out with. Um, on making a journal and sewing in the signature. So this is a great place for somebody who um, maybe is is at that point and just wants to just get one, journal in, and add their own embellishments and you know begin to to get into the junk journaling um, world. <laughs> so that was my thought on those and like I said I had I've got quite a bit of the Tim Holtz fabric and I just thought I'll put some covers on there for somebody that maybe can't purchase the Tim Holtz uh, fabrics but would like to have um, a journal that they can make themselves. So that's my thought behind that. So if you're interested in those, take a look, guys. Um, so I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I've got some new journals I'm going to be working on um, this next week. I'm quite excited. Um, just very uh, different um, to what I'm working on here, you know, I do, you guys know I, I'm just all over the place with my style. I, I gotta say, um, I just I get I like playing around. So um, I hope everybody's having a good start to the week, and I will be back very soon with some more items. Take care. Bye.